Hello, Cardboard Geek here, and today I'm unboxing Undaunted North Africa. It's about a month overdue due to various things getting in the way, so with no ado, I'll try and make this really, really quick. Let's get this cut open, or not, as the case may be. Let's try that again. All right, there we go. All right, let's just shrink right off. Been sat here for a month waiting for me to do this, so this will be good, I hope. Uh, Undaunted North Africa is the sequel to Undaunted uh, Normandy. Uh, the main difference with this one is that instead of each card being an individual soldier in a platoon, uh, each set of cards is an individual soldier, and they've added tanks for a start. Um, let's see what we've got inside. Uh, pretty normal. Uh, Undaunted Normandy advert, which you'd expect. I've been rather impressed by Osprey's products because they seem to manage to border the line between um, good games quality and price, which is kind of important, especially in the current climate. Um, it's a shame still no real solo mode yet. Uh, there is due one out quite soon. So yeah, we've got the raw books, as usual. Scenario book, uh, lots of lovely scenarios in there. Uh, partic looks like a particularly normal layout. Uh, for this game, and you've got uh, bits and pieces now where you put them, and the rule book, which is again comprehensive, quite deep, but well laid out. Lots of lovely pictures uh, explain everything you need to know. A little bit on the uh, vehicles there, in fact, uh, which all have crew which can get out, get in, move it about. You've got your uh, long range desert troop trucks and the Italian tanks. Um, it's interesting for me because I have Italian heritage, so um, it's a bit like you know, you have to suffer a lot of war jokes regarding the Italians, and it's a bit like, well, they weren't really like that, um, but uh, all the same. And you've got your counters, like where you were, all nice visually graphic. Um, Obviously, those ones being, I'm um, assuming, Long Range Desert Group, these ones being the Italian. And uh, we have some buildings on this one, which provide cover areas. And uh, there are the vehicles. We have a light truck, we have a tank, several tanks, different ones, all undoubtedly covered in scenarios. Usual D10, which is quite nice. Uh, all the uh, tiles, which you don't have to pop because they're all pre-popped, which is kind of nice. Let me just uh, see if I can pull them out. There we go. All the way down there. So you've got all your tiles double-sided with your waddies and your desert. And you set out for it. Your dunes. Love a bit of dunes. Uh. So we'll get that put away, and then we got the cards where we have the platoons. Oh, and uh, I was warned about this. This is not good. The book box design isn't brilliant. The dip down here on the insert here only goes halfway down when you put your cards in there, which means you can't get your cards out. I was pre warned, and the thing is, and what's really frustrating about that is this top one. Is cut all the way to the bottom, so you can do this. You can do that one. You can't do it on the cards, and the cards are the ones more likely to get damaged. I'm also noting that they're very tight, so I'm wondering how good that will be for sleeves. All this said, I mean that is pretty much it in the box. There's not a lot to go in there. Uh, I mean the Undaunted series has a quite a big following. It's well thought of. Uh, it's a good two-player game. I think everyone is really, really hope, waiting for next year for the uh, proper um, solo mode. Um, and I'll actually just quickly get some of the cards out. So, you see, graphically, all very nice. And uh, they've carried on the little thing from the previous where the name is on them. But each set in this case, the name is the same for the different people. And yeah, uh, the British ones there. Hmm. 
So in all in all, it's nicely put together. There's a bit of popping to do, which we all like. And uh, pretty much what you expect for the money, which is good. It's just a shame. Now the only thing I can comment on is the insert could be improved. And the thing is, I know they've tried to improve on the insert from the last time, and they've fallen a bit short. So Osprey, please sort that out in future. If you can, it would be nice, because I've got several of your games now, and actually I've not really been disappointed by any of them. So with that, this is Cardboard Geek. I'm signing off. I hope you enjoyed that. It's quite a short, sharp one today. And uh, see you on the next unboxing, which hopefully will be something like They Live. Bye.